Hello everyone, today I'm going to show you how I made these super easy DIYs. I absolutely love how all of them came out. Just about everything's from the Dollar Tree. Everything will be listed in the description box. So let's jump right on in. I'm using beaded garland that I got from Old Time Pottery, but this can be found at the Dollar Tree in the party section. They are party beads or they can also be found at Michaels or Walmart. And I'm using a vase from the Dollar Tree. And I'm using my hot glue gun. So, the, so what I'm gonna do is I am going to put, to start it off, I'm just gonna put some hot glue along one side of the vase. And then I'm just gonna continue along the very base applying hot glue and then applying the beaded garland and I'm going to do that until I make it all the way back around to where I first started now I'm not going to glue anything else until I get to the very top of the vase and I'm just going to start winding it around making sure to keep it you know keep it tight so that it doesn't uh, back 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 out and then when I get to the top the very top I'm gonna put a bead of glue along the top just like I did at the bottom and then I'm just gonna cut it to length very simple project has a lot of impact this could be a candle holder this could hold makeup brushes it could hold pencils this is going in my makeup closet so it's gonna be holding my makeup brushes the rustic floral arrangement, I'm going to be using this sort of like farmhouse pot that I got from the Dollar Tree. I'm going to use some adhesive diamond wrap and I'm going to be using some hydrangeas. I used three bunches and I'm going to use some floral foam. So this is going to be a rustic glam look, okay? So first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to put the foam inside of the, um, uh, inside the bucket. I'm going to push all the leaves up on my hydrangeas and I'm just going to kind of cut it halfway. That's about the height of the um, bucket. So that's why I'm doing that. I'm going to start off in the very center and I'm just going to make um, a cross pattern. Uh, I'm going to put a hydrangea on either side of the center one and then I'm going to put um, and hydrangea on either side going the other way in the in the form of a cross and then I'm going to fill in on the right and then I'm going to fill in on the left doing the exact same thing on the left that I did on the right then I'm going to turn it around and I'm going to do the exact same thing I'm going to put one on the right and then I'm going to put one on the left and then I'm going to look at it to see if I see any spaces um, if I see any spaces, then I'm going to add a hydrangea in. So I'm going to add, um, I'm going to add one in here, and then I, whatever I do on one side, I'm going to do the exact same thing on the other side. So I'm going to put one on the right, since I just put one on the left. And then the exact same thing on the back side, one on the left. Then I'm going to put one on the right, and this arrangement is done. Uh, what I'm going to do next, just to add a little bit of embellishment to it, I'm going to add a strip of diamond wrap at the bottom and a strip of diamond wrap at the top. And I think that's just going to set it off. Now you do not have to add diamond wrap if, if that's not your style, but that's going to fit in really well in my TV room. I'm going to show you that at the end where I'm going to put this. So I'm just going to cut one strip 
and I'm going to apply it all the way around the base of the flower pot or the flower bucket <laughs> and then I'm going to do the exact same thing at the top and I didn't show it but I did uh, cut another piece of diamond wrap and I went all the way around the back side as well just in case I want to turn this around it'll look good on either side And I like this diamond wrap because it's, it already has the adhesive on it, so there was no need to put any glue on it. And that is from the Dollar Tree as well. Now, isn't that cute? That's just adorable to me. Okay, so let's go on to the next DIY, the glam frame. Now, I got this... Um, beaded ribbon from Michaels. It was $5 for a roll. I printed off a Chanel logo from Google and I have this Dollar Tree mirror. This is going to be really easy. So the only thing I'm going to do is just measure out the ribbon at the top of the frame and then I'm going to cut two rows of that. And um, I did say this is from Michaels and um, it was only $5 for this huge roll. So I did get two of those. Um, so I'm just going to apply it to the top and the bottom of the frame. And then um, with some hot glue. And then I'm going to measure it out on the side of the frame. And I'm going to do the exact same thing. You could definitely use craft glue or you could use E6000 glue as, as another option instead of hot glue. Yeah, so I'm just measuring it out, cutting it, really simple, and then I'm going to apply it in the same way as I did the top and the bottom. Just making sure that it's lined up properly. It's really easy to do that because I'm just going along the frame. And this is going in my beauty room as well as the beaded um, makeup brush holder or candle holder. <laughs> now I'm just going to glue the um, Chanel logo to the mirror. And then I'm just going to go in the same way as I did around the frame. I'm going to cut the ribbon to length on the left and the right of the picture and just to frame that out. I am so in love with this ribbon and I couldn't believe it was only $5. Uh, there's a huge amount of um, ribbon that comes on this roll. It's definitely worth $5. I absolutely love this. I think it's so beautiful and so glam. So guys, these are all the projects all finished. They are probably some of the easiest I've done. And I absolutely love all of them. So... I'm just playing around here. I decided to add a ribbon to my frame. I just think that's super cute. And guys, I want to thank you all for watching. I have some pictures at the end of where I placed them. And I will see you in my next video. Bye-bye.